So, you know, there's just one thing. Subscribe. No, but in all seriousness, this video will be about the short film travel salute video to me, myself and I and my girlfriend and my friends and travel. Call it what you want, but it's a celebrational video. We can agree on that. And in this video, I will talk about the thoughts, the music choices, the the sound design, because there's an epic sound design. If you haven't seen my Instagram story already, it's quite awesome. And, you know, just general clips, pacing stuff. So please sit down, enjoy. This is not alcohol. So no, yeah, intro, dab, let's, yeah, let's get into it. Welcome back. How are you? Subscribe. No, I already that. So what are the essential things in this video? The keys, the pacing, the clips, the music, the sound design. There's a lot that goes into a video without people really thinking about it. That's why I want to show you I have a clip where just the sound design is on point. You know, the music is muted, you can say. And I also have a clip with a breakdown of the editing versus the video versus sound design. It's it's all good and fun. And I'm going to show you how I think about when I do these types of videos. So for once, you, you've seen the clip, right? No, you haven't? What? Ah, come on. Okay, play the clip. like it? Was it any good? I hope you liked it. Mm, I can't stop. Mm, please help me. Okay, so you probably didn't notice all the sounds that went into this video. Barely I noticed it. If you're listening on a cell phone, that's even worse because, you know, the phones can't display, you know, the deep basses and the high pitches. It's just awful. But if you're really interested in editing, music, sound design, video, clip making, this video might be for you. What shall we start with? Pacing maybe? No, 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 the idea. The, I, the idea is the most essential thing. Why do you want to make this video? For, for what purpose? Come on, fuck off. No, I'm kidding. But why do you want to make this video? Is it because 
you want to commemorate something, that's a good word, or is it because you want to celebrate something or remember something, or is it maybe something else? I don't know. You choose your thing. I started sounding like a typical LA girl again. I don't know. You choose. You do whatever you want. But anyways, I just sat at home, you know, quarantine, really boring. And I just figured, what the hell? I want to make something fun. I started going through my hard drives. I have like four terabytes of footage saved. And I just started looking at, you know, old clips from we were at uh, Stockholm, which is Sweden's capital, and Vejen, which is like an island. And, you know, clips from Croatia, Budapest, uh, Mallorca, which is another island, many, many islands here. But I just started looking at these clips and seeing all kinds of fun we had back in the day. Oh, I miss those days. No, so I just started looking at these clips and I thought I want to make something commemorable, something rememorable. What the fuck is that word? I want to make something that makes me proud and feel good about my travels and my time spent with my friends and my girlfriend and myself. I'm a narcissist. So I just started looking at these clips and I got the idea of a like roadmap, can you call that? Like a travel map of where I've been, what I've done at these places. And I thought I want to make a short clip because long clips takes too long to watch. So I want to make something short, punchy. I want to make something that, that makes you feel, right? Something that inspires you to travel or create or just be with your friends or loved ones. I want to make something that makes you feel, right? Can, can you... Mm get that and that was my goal with this video i want to make something short impactful mm, creative thinking and stuff so i had the idea with this roadmap i wanted to show the places where i've been and what i've done at these places and one important thing after you select your theme and what you want to do music find the music right away because it's kind of hard to We'll get into this uh, pacing. It's kind of hard to do pacing without anything to, you know, pace it with. You you can't really match the tempo of the video if you don't know the tempo of the video. Does that make sense? So finding a song or several songs, I use two, and you know I wanted the first part to be more sentimental, maybe slow pacing, like oh you want to feel good, you want to feel uh, vulnerable, maybe. I actually showed this to my girlfriend and uh, this was her reaction. I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah, so the first part was more about you getting into the right mood, you know? I, I want to set the pace for you. I, I want to tell you this is how you're supposed to feel. Hmm. And then we move along from Malmo to Stockholm to uh, Vejen and then we started to travel down to Croatia, which is summer. And I, I thought I was going to use the same song throughout the video, but I just noticed that, you know, clips of partying, uh, Grey Goose, uh, oceans, uh, beaches, uh, nah, that wasn't a good song for that. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So I switched the song. And that left me with another problem. How do you combine two songs that is completely different Settings, moods, pacing into one video and make it cohesive? Is that a fucking word? You can't blame me on Swedish. Yeah, so there I start to use a heck of a lot of sound effects. I'm gonna show the little roll down here maybe. Yeah, down here. Um, with all these different like whoo, whoo, and I had a clip of, of waves and I had the sound of the waves so I just kind of transition you from a slow pacing sentimental clip to a more fast pacing happy summer clip you know we have the waves we have the birds we have the and and all of all of that um quite a lot of sounds that you won't probably never hear and one thing i noticed um that is very useful is title cards yeah <laughs> who would have figured right they're really underrated I just had a text, summer, and did not set the mood. You were thinking, oh, it's summer, we're happy, it's warm, let's party, 
right? I'm getting you into the right mood. Without the text, it's just, you know, we have this slow pacing video and then... Da -da 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 -da, uh, uh. So really, like, underestimate your viewers. Like, you need to tell the viewers what to feel and when to feel it. And usually we do that through the clips and the sounds and sometimes through titles. But you as the director need to, guess what? Direct the viewer to what they want to see, to what they want to feel. You need to decide for the viewer, you at home will feel sad now because you're watching me. Fuck. You at home will feel glad now because you're watching me. So pacing, you need to edit to the music, to the beat. You need to have a tempo, a rhythm, a rhythm, and a pace, right? I'm gonna put the clip up like right here, and you can see like all the clips kind of end at a like high pitch or a, a bass stroke. Is that like you know to the claps to the music? Yeah, you heard right. So you need to edit to the music and edit to the tempo that you want. When I came to the summer part of the video, I started to one up the pacing. So I switched the clips at like dun 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 dun, which is like really fast, um, which is kind of fun. Set the paces for, you know, we're speeding up, it's summer, we're having fun. Everything is whew, extra, 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 and I actually wanted to experiment with like this, what, what, what can you call it? like Polaroid? stop motion kind of stuff where, where I have like the two clips that is like kind of shoppy like a, a old camera shot it like a put and shoot really like 80s camera at a vacation you know really kind of puts the video out from the present and into the memories wow <laughs> philosophy no but it, it really kind of commemorates that this is a memory not a thing that's happening right now not something that we will ever experience again. It's a fucking memory that is awesome and I want to have it. So this kind of shoppy pacing in the clips make it seem like I'm remembering. I, I, I'm not going to decide for you how you want to feel, but that's how I feel. Okay, cool. And if people should be interested, I can show how to do this effect. It's not, it's not hard at all. It's like Posterize time, set the frame rate to 12. Oh, I think I just explained it, okay. So I mean, have you like covered all the bases? You need to have music, you need to have an idea, you need to know why you're editing, why, with, with who. You need to decide for the viewer how to feel, when to feel, what to feel, why to feel, what to feel, when to feel. And you need to tell the viewer, this is what I'm creating. You should be proud. You should feel the same things I'm feeling. I think that's the like pivoty of a pivoty pivot of a good filmmaker I have a feeling regarding like a, a memory or in this case uh, all the fun stuff with friends and travels and girlfriend and I want to make you feel how I feel I want to and I want to express how I feel and I want to make you feel what I feel when I watch this and that's no easy task to do I mean you, you weren't there you didn't experience this I did but I want to make you feel how I felt when I did it and that's a powerful tool as a filmmaker, as a creator, as we all are to express a feeling and make you feel what I feel when I want you to feel it. And also to think about sound design, because even if the sounds are not true to what happened, um, you want to convince the viewer that it actually happened and it kind of elevates the video quite a lot. I, and I'm actually thinking of doing a whole fucking video about sound design because it's a such a big of topic and it can't really be covered in a haste like this. You can convince the viewer quite easily to believe that the sounds should be there and it kind of drags the viewer in even more because you have five senses, I think. Smell, sight, hearing, taste, feel. Yeah. And you have sight, but you don't have hearing, right? You need to have the sounds as well. They're really quite important. Everything that enables you to sell the story even more, to connect the viewer even more to the clip. Because if they're seeing a bird high up in the sky, flapping his wings, uh, you need to have the sounds to make it feel authentic. Like the viewer is actually there. You need to have the wind, you need to have the wings, you need to have the 
the what's it called beacon like the, the cacao. all these things help to sell to the viewer that they're actually there they're experiencing the full event not just the visuals so i think that's the things i want you to think about when you're creating something like this i've posted the whole timeline on my instagram account so you can see it there if you would like at alessio lion always plug but if you want to see the full breakdown with you know video and tracks underneath so you can see all different layers and intricacy that went into this video that's a good word too mm. i'm getting good at this english stuff so if you want to see that go to my instagram check it out it's quite good actually but i hope these tips helped you out you know create more think more about your decisions when you're making a video because it's 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 not just putting together a bunch of clips and like a 2012 pop music and call it like oh travel video well done no you need to have a story behind it you need to make the viewer feel what you want to feel when you want to feel it that's my slogan for this video thank you all goodbye i don't have a yeah i have a mic but i i won't drop it huh.